guys. I think everybody's concern is that they want to send their kid to school and that he comes home in the same condition that he went there in. Inside any school in 2023, you never know what's waiting around the corner or at the end of the hall, putting your child's safety at risk. I'll just scan the school, walk around, and I just talk, making sure that they're closed and that they're tight so that nobody can enter in. And that's among the biggest concerns for the Mura family, with an eight-year-old, a second grader, in the Star Point School District. And just knowing that we're giving all of the control to the school while he's not with us, and we hope that they're doing what's in his best interest to keep him safe. What is it like as a parent putting your faith and your trust in a system? Scary. Yeah, when they say you wear your heart on, their sle on your sleeve, it's like you have no control. The Muros actually laud Superintendent Dr. Sean Croft for his efforts to keep kids safe, hiring a second school resource officer last year. Hello. How are you? Installing this secure entrance and training teachers about violence warning signs. He calls it a heavy burden. Yeah, there's always the what ifs. You can't cover for every single scenario. So those are the things that keep you up. There's a camera up there. Mm -hmm. How many cameras are there in the school? Over 250 at least. How important is having that kind of visualization at all times? Cameras are great, but they're often something to use after the fact. Right? What do you mean by that? So if there's an incident, we can go back and we have it on video. They're not necessarily something always we can catch in the moment or prevent something. There's a heavy price tag for protection, $30 million worth, the cost of about $108 for every home assessed at $200,000. All of this, something taxpayers will vote on as part of a larger $69 million capital project plan. But we're asking the taxpayers, like this is a significant investment. This is for the safety and security of your students. Um, and we think it's an important move to make. That's priority number one for us at this point. Everything else is a distant second. The school district wants to do away with adjoining classrooms, upgrading the emergency PA alert system, and boosting security on classroom doors. The last thing we want in, in a lockdown is a teacher to have to go find their keys and then operate keys in that stressful moment. We well, want things simplified. Here we are. I mean, this is kind of the situation. It locks from the outside, but not from the inside. Right. And those are the type of changes that we're going to make here. These are the locks Starpoint and other school districts are looking to install. They lock from the inside by a quick press of the red button, and the door is locked by a deadbolt. But the I-Team has obtained a 2022 letter sent to school administrators where the State Department of Education explains there has to be a balance between increased security and the requirements for free exit. Exit, and it goes back to white. Mark Berger is the president of Securitech, a New York company that makes these locks with a very specific purpose. Whatever solution you put in place respects how they use their space yet allows them to accomplish the goal that you're trying to do, which in our case is uh, protect uh, students' lives during what could be a very traumatic and dangerous uh, and sp split second time. You feel most comfortable when you're empowered and you can do something simply. And the red button and the cons are red, everybody understands that that's something special, uh, that you only use it in an emergency. List price for those door locks is anywhere between $500 and $1,000 each. But hidden deep within the Albany abyss is a bill sponsored by a downstate lawmaker that would mandate every school in New York have doors hardened with these or similar locks. It was introduced in 2017, 2019, 2021, and once again this year. Maybe my strategy, maybe I have to adapt my strategy more. Assemblywoman Alicia Hinman just can't seem to get that bill to a vote, let alone out of the Education Committee. I believe schools, if safety and security is a priority for our children, then we would find the money to, to do that. Education is one of the biggest parts of our state budget, and our schools do receive millions, if not billions of dollars for this. I believe school districts should set aside monies, particularly for the safety of our children. Yet as a concerned parent, she believes it's Albany's responsibility to develop a plan to harden schools. It's a similar story for Tonawanda Assemblyman Bill Conrad, a former Kenmore teacher 
also on the Assembly Education Committee. He supports that downstate lawmakers bill, but also supports a separate piece of legislation that he says goes even further, exempting school safety improvements from the local tax cap. That would give a little bit more freedom, I think, and affordability for these school districts to be able to do that. Where does the money come from? It comes from the taxpayers in the state. So your local municipality or your local school district and or the state. So really it's kind of like a trickle down. It truly is. It truly is. Worth noting that bill also hasn't moved since 2013. What's the likelihood of this bill in particular moving on? Um, I don't know. It's got bipartisan support on both of these bills. It's something I think everybody wants to wrap around. We're all fiscally minded. You know, it's something we don't want to see our taxes increase. But at a certain point, we've got to avert tragedy. We've taken steps and um, we've made significant security upgrades across the district. Um, but this is going to take us to the next level and lead us into the future. Meantime, in the Star Point Central School District, with the state reimbursing about 80% of every dollar spent, it's now up to taxpayers to move the district forward with a vote on this capital project to improve school safety. Is it important for you guys? Absolutely. Yeah. Because the Muras say there's a lot more to be done. Sad that every school shooting that has happened happened, but I mean, we can learn from all of them and kind of make the changes that we need to make now to prevent them from happening again. I have a lot of faith and uh, trust that they're doing everything in their power to make it so that that, that doesn't happen. Um, and that's all you can have. Faith. Faith. For the I-Team, Edge Ranch, 7 News.